Hey everybody, welcome to part 8 of Ratchet and Clank, Future Tools of Destruction. So in this episode, we'll, go, we'll be going to planet Ardolas to take on the pirates. Did I get everything here by chance? Yeah, I literally got everything here, so that's good. Planet Ardolas. The notorious space power Captain Slag is said to have a hideout somewhere in the Urkul Sul Fjords of Planet Ardolas. Although no explorers have returned to life from the hideout, its location has been approximated by triangulating a pirate radio signal emanating from the planet. Okay, well, three gold bolts here. That's a lot of gold bolts to collect. Not gonna complain because I like doing stuff in games. Do you think going to a pirate planet will mean we get ambushed by more space pirates? Or did we already deal with them for enough, for enough right now? No, I guess we dealt with them for enough. For enough for the first little bit. Okay, planet Ardolis. Well, that was a weird short cutscene. Believe we do get a new weapon here. Right, what can we oh. for? Yeah, buzzblades and nano swarmers. A single hive deploys dozens of nano sects to that attack your enemy with pyrocytic stingers, and the buzzblades expels high velocity rounds of lethal blades designed to ricochet off any surface. So we'll probably pick up the buzzblades first because it's cheaper. Then we'll pick up the other one. Nano swarmers are naturally more powerful anyway. While the uh, buzz blades aren't, so it's always better to get the weaker weapons at the beginning of the game. Well, towards the beginning of the game. Like, they're decent weapons because they're so fast, but they're not the most powerful thing in the world. That's definitely for sure. This looks like a door that we get through from the other side. I think that's where one of the gold bolts are, or it might be like one of the collectible items. Because I believe there is a Rhino plan or Gadgetron. Equip the helipod gadget using the quick select. Yeah, I know how to do that, thank you. And then fire it at the target. Just raise up the rail for me. Woo! Gotta get some grinding in. I haven't done this for a bit. Ooh, weird bat like dinosaur creatures. My Shard Reaper's gonna have to deal with them for right now because they're close range. Other than that, it seems pretty easy. Well, looks like we got some timed platforming to do here. You know, since we have to... You know what? What is this one for? Anything? No, it's just an extra platform. I guess if you want to just go the other way. Not to be picky or anything like that, you know? Wait a minute. Looks like there might be something up there. Ah! I was expecting one of the gold bolts to be up there, not one of... The not something like that, but... Yeah, whatever. Die, pirates! Arrgh! Nice ah, swing shot over there, or... I don't know if I can make that from here, though. I don't think I can. No, I can't make that, so... We have to go this way. Why did you... Okay, weird. Wait a minute. If that leads me that way, then I'm gonna go check out this area first. And oh, more enemies! Boom! Oh, I love the epic pirate music here, though. Oh, this is just for some raritanium. Well, like I said, it's not really just raritanium. Raritanium is an awesome thing to get, nonetheless. All right, so it looks like we definitely have to. Oh, okay, that one stays open apparently. Looks like this will raise the boat, and the wind will blow the boat. And it looks like with this we can now take the uh, swing shot. I'm assuming it just loops around eventually. Boom! Oh, more raritanium. Oh, and another spot we can go. Phew, long jump! You ever notice though there's only Leviathan Souls where the smuggler is? Like, we haven't ran into a place where we can just get Leviathan Souls before running into him, you know? Which would be kind of cool, you know? Just be able to find them and then find them later on in the game and trade them in. Oh, I think we need... Oh, over there. Oh, okay, I didn't think that was going to work. But it did. Yeah, and remember, R2 does it, but see, there's very little 
like a room for it in this game right now. Like we're not in a wide enough open area. Okay, looks like we need it over here. Grow up, demon bats. Kind of cool how these things work, though. Now we gotta wait for them to die off, so it will rise up, rise up, raise up the platform again. Rise up, platform! Take over the world! I don't think that would ever happen. I swear the nanotech in that one place is just so out of date that only healed one HP, because that definitely healed more than one HP this time. Hey, what's this? Ooh. This useful device ionizes your armor to attract bolts from increased distances. Thank you. I, I won't mind that. I don't believe this game actually has any trophies, though, so don't expect there to be any trophies. Trophies were implemented quite late in the series. Well, in the PlayStation. Oh, come on! I just wanted to check a text message. Now I gotta attack these guys. There we go. Now let me check the text message. I'm just gonna say love you to my girlfriend. At least it gave me time for my phone to act better. Ah, devices. I don't really care about devices. And want that, I actually wanted to find the armor vendor because for some reason I feel like my armor is really lackluster at this point in the game. Oh, pirate! Pistol popper pirate! Oh, looks like we're going to use the digging ability again. Oh, went too far ahead. It's a very sensitive spot. Okay. Oh, hang on. I don't know if you can actually completely fail this or not. Those look like X-Men X's, you know? Sardalo Cavern! Or caves, not caverns. Oh, looks like we have to use the Shock Ravager at some point. Well, that could be cool for you guys. Too bad none of you are going to get it. Because I'm going to beat you guys. Like, I am seriously going to win. Yeah, all the skill points and gold bolts will be uh, down the road in a secret video. Or like, not a secret video. A bonus video where I go and do all the collectibles. So it might take me some time to make it. Just like, I'm still working on the Yoshi's Island and stuff. On like I, It's not that I haven't. I am working on them. It's just, it's taking me a lot to do it because it's going to take me quite a bit of work. Especially since i got to go and make sure to get 100% on everything. So some games, bonus content will take longer. As for the Spiral ones, I'm just lazy and haven't done all the cheats yet. Because like, the games are 100% complete. There's literally nothing left to do on them. Like, I got everything. Oh, hey there, guys. But yeah, so I'm gonna have to... Uh, just make a quick video about that. I'll show off the cheats instead of just list them, so you, you'll actually get to see it. Man, the Shock Raptor is still a really good weapon. Uh, Plasma Beast, go! Go! Oh, goddammit, it fell off the ledge. Oh, looks like we're gonna dig here, too. Maybe not in the same way, because I believe you can also use it to, like, make things fall and all that. Geolaser. Geolaser is actually a cool name. Oh, it made shit fall. I hear pirates! I believe the radio in uh, Crack in Time, like, in your ship, is actually copyrighted, so we're probably not going to be able to use that very often when it when we play that game, so I apologize right now. Once we get there. As a request for booty, nothing in that game I believe gets covered. So we should be safe on that. Don't quite have enough bolts yet to get the next weapon. God damn it. Well thanks, uh, Plasma Beast, but still got knocked down. Oh. Might as well pick up some more and get some health from it. Oh, more geolaser shenanigans. Hey. Man, why do we need such a big hole? This is 
is not a we don't need a stretched out vagina to get anywhere. Well, that seemed like it was such a bigger hole than need be. Like it looked huge, but in reality, we were just far away from it. So, oh my pirate haven! Oh lord! Let's forget that the geo laser actually isn't an attachment or a weapon. So it literally, you don't have to switch out of it. You know what, dude? Oh, the answer the shields are actually t are weaker. Ooh, this actually levels up fast. I might use it for a bit. Oh, for those pirate doors, you actually need the pirate hollow guys. And we're not going to get that anytime soon. Or it might be because we also have double bolts. Because I believe it also multiplies experience. Die! Thank you. Oh, there's... Hey! Look at... The darn shield, the pirate shield, blocked me from getting the bolts there for a second. Oh yeah, dealing so much damage. We can pick up bolts from further away now, at least. Oh yeah, shock them all. Ooh, B4. Our whip is more powerful than you will ever be, pirates. Eh. Like, it still levels up fast. This might actually be the first weapon we level up first. Or the Plasma Beast, one or the other. Oh, apparently it's... What the... What the heck? There's even more of you. Like, crazy amounts of you. Good news, it'll start doing more to these guys. Plus more if we upgrade it after that. Okay, for this guy, I'm just gonna use the nuke. Oh, our nuke is really out of power now. Like three hits? Seriously? Be careful, Ratchet. That enemy is electrified. We need to keep a safe distance. I believe this guy can actually insta kill you, so be careful. Like I swear he's an insta kill enemy. Okay, the pirates are still up there, so we, there should be a way up. I don't know if we have to go back this way or what, but... Oh. Hey there, buddies. Oh, shield enemies. Well, I want to go in there, back in there, and see if I can figure out how to get all that stuff, because there's a lot of goodies in there. Oh, God damn it! Can't get back in there. Not right now, at least. You know, it's sad when her whip does more damage than a grenade does. Oh, this is actually an elevator. Okay. Well, let's go into this place over here. Yahoo! The secret. We found it. But what is it? We hit him in the balls. That's so sad for the poor guy. Wait, what? Where's this going? Oh! 
This is just a backtracker, okay. Don't know if we need to go back for anything right now. Because I'm pretty sure we have to continue on. You know what? I know you guys are using pistols, and this is probably risky, but... I think these pistol guys are just stronger enemies in general. Like, than the shield enemies and stuff. That could just be it, too. Now, there are all these, like, spots that we can hop up on. There might be a secret on top of some of them. Maybe that one over there, like the triple one? Maybe behind it or something? Like, this is such a good spot for some secrets or for some rare titanium. There is literally nothing here of importance. What a waste of space. Oh, I hit that guy from back there, that's funny. Oh man. Oh. Dead, okay. I'm sorry guys. Man, nanotech does not heal worth a damn in this game. Oh, that guy's arm gets left behind, apparently. Yeah, we'd be traversing multiple ships. Oh, got TNT. I haven't found one gold bolt yet, and there's three here, apparently. Then again, I'm pretty sure one of them will be in that uh, door that we don't can't get into yet. Boom. There we go. It's almost upgraded. So we will get it probably upgraded in this episode. Oh man, I'm not looking forward to these enemies. Luckily, Plasma Beasts can stun them. Oh man. Oh, well, that worked out better than I thought. <laughs> oh man, is this like the, the pirate strip club in here? There we go! The V5! Lightning Ravager. Yeah. Now destroy them all. And V5 on the Plasma Beasts as well. Congratulations. You have upgraded to the Plasma Stalker Mine. Your synthetic friends have learned a few new tricks, including how to tunnel underground to reach enemies. Ooh, nice. You can now tunnel underground. Man, really wish this weapon did more damage. Does so little. And he lived through all of that. He still managed to pull out a victory. Oh man, you're not gonna let me up, are you? Can't you guys just be nice pirates for a day? Oh, well, I didn't mean to destroy him with the nanotech, but sure. Um, I swear the combustor doesn't get the extra ammo mod. Ooh, more bolts. Oh yeah, do it! God damn it! Stop hitting me! Ah, fall off! Yeah, you you use your uh, beating stick. And don't really know if this is gonna help much here. Not at this point, at least. Destroy them, please. There we go. Out of ammo on it, too. But luckily, we managed to destroy them. Give me some more of this health. Definitely use it at this point. And on the ship we go! Shut up, Rusty Pete. Please walk the plank. Yeah, I just ask you nicely to walk the plank, eh? Oop, Rowan. Yeah, we can now buy the nano swarmers. And we still have 9,000 bolts. 
That's funny. But I don't. I didn't come from. Well, did I come from Fastoon? I'm pretty sure I came from uh, Velden. Like, I know I'm an orphan, but where did I really come from? Okay, let's use the weak weapons on them. Like the, well, at least the low-level ones. I really mean weak. Boom. 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 And now swarmers. You should be able to finish them off, right? And there we go. You are dead. Man, I love that. Wow, there's another pirate door keep. And Raritanium! Yeah, we can't activate the pirate door just yet. So too bad. So sad. No, dude, don't high jump. You're supposed to just jump out. I'm telling you, all it needs is a couple of new batteries. Oh, well, what do you know about Lombax technology? My mother was half Lombax. Yeah, we used to make these. We'll uh, watch some of gizmos out of paper mache. Hey. Uh. I happen to be a renowned expert in Lombax his history, and this Duwahiki is a zombie death beam emitter that'll wipe out all life in the galaxy. Then why are you trying to put batteries in it, you dumb fool? Guys, just give me two seconds to think. Having trouble? Okay, genius, you figure it out. No! It's the zombie death beam! It appears to be a map. Wait a second. It's Riken 5. That must be where the secret is hidden. I'll send the coordinates to your ship. Meet us there as soon as you can. Man, the game did that whole out of sync thing again. And Oh. What is this way? You gotta be kidding me, is this seriously one of those spots that is literally just, just here because? God, I hate when games do that. It's like, well, make you go up here for no reason whatsoever. There's no reason to go down there or anything. So, in the next episode, what we'll be doing is we will, we will be going to Planet Rikon 5. See you guys then!